What's up everybody, George T from The Wagon here. This week we're going in the opposite direction. We got a bug that came in that's a little too low. So this week, we're gonna be raising the rear of a VW bug. This is a brief explanation of the torsion itself. So the torsion you have inner and you have outer splines. So your inner is what's in the tube on the rear of your frame. It's cogged just like your spring plate is, but the size difference is pretty substantial. If you're looking at that there to that there, and if you look at how the inner spline doesn't even, I mean, it doesn't index, it's that much smaller. So when I'm raising, lowering anything, and I'm trying to match degrees, I need to be at the same degree as what I shoot for, but this is what I'm adjusting. My inner spline and my outer spline. So on your spring plate, you see it's cogged right there. So there's grooves that match these grooves right here. So if I'm going to raise a vehicle, say if this is my right angle, meaning your spring plate sits at this when it's relaxed, if I want to raise the vehicle, take the rear suspension up, then this is going to come down here and re-index on that. And now that has just raised the vehicle. If I'm going to lower the vehicle, and this is our ride height, you would bring this up and put it on. So now the vehicle is going to ride lower. So just want to give that brief explanation so you understand what we're doing, what we're taking apart, and what we're adjusting. The accuracy comes from doing inner and outer splines. If you just do the outers, these are big jumps. One spline to the next, and it's gonna be multiple degrees, not one or two. It'll, it could be up to four or five degrees with each jump. And if you remember, one degree usually equates to about a quarter of an inch. So this is a Nova window. We have the extended torsions out here, as you can see. So we chose, we opted for removing the fender to have better access at this. If you have a 60, well, let's see, I believe it's gonna start in 62, the, the shorter torsions then you can leave your fender and everything on there and you should be able to do all your adjustments in the wheel well. You will need to remove the three axle bolts that hold your axle to the spring plate and you'll need to remove the bottom shock bolt as well. We've also gone inside the bug and we've removed the two e-brake bolts so those cables can move freely as we pull this brake back here. Keep in mind, you don't wanna put your boot under too much stress. So we're gonna be playing with this for a while as you see me doing my lowering videos. I'm gonna be pulling this apart, most likely adjusting inner and outer splines to get the desired angle that we're going for. This bug came here, and this has a wicked case of the Carolina squats. And when we're just putting it here in a relaxed state, we are looking at a three degree angle on this spring plate here. It's not under load right now. We have everything disconnected. And this should be somewhere in the area when it's in a full relaxed state, reading about 21 degrees. We've already got the other side taken apart, so let's head over there. Okay, so on this side, I've already got the axle dropped off of it. So this spring plate is completely relaxed, and you can see I got a gap underneath here, which is kind of nuts. And we're reading, what we see on here is five degrees in negative angle, as opposed to the positive we should be seeing in this direction. So this car came in, not only was it extremely squatted, but it wasn't even level left to right. So on this side, I'm reading negative five degrees. On the other side, I'm reading positive three degrees. So the car almost looked twisted, if you see it before. We're gonna try and get both of them corrected and have equal degrees on both sides. Okay, so we got this jack here, relieving this of any pressure on it. So you can see that's moving independently. And we've adjusted this down. So we started with negative five degrees <clears throat> and we're gonna raise it up four inches. So we are adding 16 degrees to it. So all I did there is I, is I pulled it out and I went down. It's probably two clicks that I went down. So right now I'm showing on here, I got 12 degrees and I'm gonna call it positive because now we're going uphill with it. So 12 degrees positive showing on here. So if we started at negative five and now we're going all the way to 12 degrees, we've adjusted it 17 degrees. And I'm okay with that. We're gonna see if we can get the other side to match right away. If not, we're gonna start playing with inner and outer torsions. We have the spring plate, the three spring plate bolts that go onto your axle tube removed. And we are going to separate that from the spring plate. So 
with that out of the way, now this spring plate is free, we're going to start removing this. Our goal would be to get them equal to each other, so I'm going to see if I can get the same 12 degrees on this side that I'm showing on that side over there. We adjusted these and I'm looking at this angle right here and that little bit of lip I got there it was like an eighth inch to a quarter inch of that perch that still shows right there and let's go over the other side and check it out and we have almost an identical reveal on the two so I'm pretty stoked on that we are going to put this back together and see how it sits with the degree we're actually showing one more degree on this side than we are on that side, but that could just be an imbalance between the car itself, this way or that way. But what I'm really looking at is that angle I got going on down there. This is a simple impy tool. It's a spring plate tool. And what this does is because this spring plate is in the outside of that torsion housing, it can't press in. We've got to pick it up first and then press it in. And that is what we call preload in your suspension. So this will actually be coming up with the force of this tool to lock it into place. It's a pretty simple setup. It goes onto your body bolt there. And then you just tighten this up. That bottom part indexes into the interior of that. And then you can start lifting this up. And what that's going to do is allow us to put the spring plate all the way back in and we're going to put our spring plate cover on. So there we're clear of the housing. It actually takes a bit of effort and you can even see it kind of puts a bow in my tool. That's a lot of tension this thing is under. This is a very dangerous point when you're working on suspension so you need to be really work wise when you're doing this. This is under tension. If you don't have a tool like this, you can do it with jacks. I've seen people do it. I don't recommend that. You're gonna hurt yourself that way. People do it all the time. Take your own chances, what you feel comfortable with. Or you spend uh, maybe 40 bucks for this tool. That's the route I would go. Especially if you, if you plan on working on Volkswagens, yours, your friends, if you have multiple Volkswagens. All right, we're gonna get that cover put back on get that snugged up and put it back together and put this thing back down on the ground see how she looks height wise. I've seen in some of my other videos where I've done rear torsion adjustments but the hardware that comes with it is usually too small to bolt your spring plate cover back on. So what I do is I have longer hardware that I put into it and then I cinch it up and then I'll go back and replace each one individually after I've got the spring plate cover cinched back up. The longer hardware allows you to pull away from it a little bit and get a better angle on tightening it. It's up against a rubber bushing, so this does have some give, and this longer hardware allows you to move it right here, in here. In the book, they recommend two studs at a diagonal, and then push the plate on, and then start putting your hardware back in. I don't have the two studs at a diagonal, so this is the way I do it.
All right, so we got those rear torsions adjusted. I matched both sides to where we wanted to to get the desired height. So that's her, that's what she looks like. She looks beautiful. You should have seen this thing before. It had the wicked Carolina squat. Those are the process of raising it. Good looking car. This is a garage build being done locally. This gentleman has done about 85% of the work on this himself, minus paint. Um, yeah, nice looking car.